It's time now for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service. If you think someone is um, doing something that's not so right in your relationship and you can't figure out what it is, let us try and help you and try and figure it out for you. So this is an email that we got from Heidi in Alisa Viejo. She says, my husband and I separated about a year ago. We did not divorce, just separated. This past summer, he started dating someone and seeing him with someone new reminded me of all the great things we once had. Long story short, we got back together about a month ago. But since he came back, things haven't been great. We're more like roommates than a married couple. There's no passion, and I'm concerned that he hasn't completely broken it off with this other woman. Mm. I think just to, there's a lot of confusion and yeah. emotion going on, too, in a right. situation like this. Heidi, thanks for coming on with us. So I, I find it interesting that you realized what you had once you had seen him gone and with someone else. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that we we separated about a year ago because it just wasn't working. We were arguing all the time, like, you know, the, the passion was just gone. So we decided to, to, to separate and take a break. But at the beginning of the summer, when he started dating this woman, I just, you know, it's like you see you see the man that you love with another woman and but it makes you I, realize. I guess much- I, I raise this question because I'm just trying to make sure it's not out of envy or jealousy that you wanted to get back together no. with him, but out of truly wanting to get back together with him. Yes, definitely. I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, you see what you've lost and you remember those times when when you were having all the bad times that were hard to remember, but then you see you see him with someone else and you're like, Oh no, like this we have a family. We have two boys. How long were you married before you separated? About five years. So we're clear, you've got two kids and you've since gotten back together, but now you feel more like roommates. There's no spark anymore. And you think it's this way because he's still either mentally, psychologically, or physically attached to this other girl. Yes, definitely. I mean, it was only over the summer that they were dating, and he's only been back for about a month. And at the beginning, like the first two days were great. You know, we had a little coming back party. It was it was great, but now well, it does. It, that's like the new honeymoon. I mean, of course, it's going to be great when you first get back together, and then do you settle back into the old rhythms? Is there another woman that's causing that, or is it truly just the rhythm of the two of you? Going to make the Ryan's Roses call. So if you're just joining us, let me bring up the speed. And by the way, remember, you can listen to us on the iHeartRadio app if you've got to move. If you've got to get out of the car and you need something on your phone, bang, we're right there. 1027 KISS FM. Uh, stations from all over the country are there, too. Ryan and Ellen, my husband and I separated a year ago. That's how the email started. They are separated, not divorced. He started seeing somebody else. They decided to get back together because she initiated it. Mm-hmm. She didn't like seeing him with another girl. And right. she says she remembered all the things they used to have when she saw him with somebody else and said, let's try this again. So they've moved back in together. Apparently, he stopped seeing the other girl, and she says the spark isn't there, that mm-hmm. we're more like roommates than a married couple. And she's concerned that he's mentally or physically or both or both attached to this girl still. Mm-hmm. Heidi, yeah, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, uh, and then whatever your husband's name is on Kiss FM. Go ahead. You have permission to call on Kiss FM. Okay, we're gonna call him. Patty's gonna come in here. She's gonna offer him some roses. We're gonna find out what he puts on the card. Okay, we're gonna okay. find out who he sends them to, because if it's I think to I know who he's gonna send them to. Well, but yeah. what's what's her? What's the other girl's name, Heidi? Yeah, what is it? Michelle. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so well, let's find out if if you're top of mind or if Michelle is top of mind. Where did he meet Michelle? Um, I think they met online. I'm not sure, but uh, my kid actually showed me a picture of her on Facebook. They met her once. Oh my God, what a day that was! But it, but he we were... was fine to be seeing her because you guys were separated, right? Right. Yeah, we were separated, but it's still hard to have your kids with your. With of course, your, I understand. You know, we're still married, and another woman. Like I, it was. And then they come home and they're like, oh, mommy, mommy, let, me, let us show you this woman on Facebook. And I don't want to be mean about it. You know, I can't I can't smack her down because I don't want to teach them those values. All right. We're going to make the call now. Patty is ready. So good luck to you, Heidi. Thanks. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Jerry? This is Terry. Terry, hi. Good morning. My name is Patty calling from Lilies and Sunflowers. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm calling because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. They're completely free. 
and you can send them to whoever you want. This morning, I don't need any information from you, just the name of the person you're going to send them to and a note, and I'll make sure they get them today by um, by lunchtime. Wait, uh, so, wait, I'm sorry, so it, it's it's flowers? It's flowers, so you, you get a bouquet for free. Uh, you don't. I don't charge you anything. You don't have to pay any fees, any delivery fees at all. They're all on me. I'm actually just promoting my delivery service, and also I'm trying to get a little bit ahead for the holidays. I'm trying to get a, as many customers as I can. So I'm offering okay. five bouquets today, and you're one of those um, those people that that can send to whoever to whom, whoever you want and no charge. Okay, so I could just. Send flowers to someone? Yeah, you can send them to, an, to anybody you want. I have four bouquets. Let me just run them by, um, run them here. It's sure. I love you, thinking of you, get well soon, and miss you. You can choose from one of those four. Uh, can I choose thinking of you? Okay, thinking of you. One second. And who do you want to send that to? Um, Michelle is the name. And what do you want to put on the note? Put... I'm going to make this right. And are we sending this to her residence or place of work? Uh, we're going to send it to her residence. Jerry, it's Ryan Seacrest and Ellen K. Hey, Jerry. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Uh, Michelle, this is the woman that you're seeing. Heidi is your wife. We just heard what you put on the card. What What is it that's going on with Michelle, Jerry? Um. Michelle is a friend of mine, and uh, we just we have a history with each other. I just wanted to send her flowers, you know, just to kind of cheer her up. To kind of say you're going to make what right? Yeah. What do you need uh, to make right? This, by the way, your wife Heidi is on the phone, Jerry. I need you to know that. But what is it Heidi? you need to make right? Yeah, hi. All right, Heidi. It's not. You, did, you told little, me you stopped it, it, seeing her. Look, here's the thing. What I haven't done is uh, I haven't I haven't done anything with Michelle. Can I you just say that? It off either, clearly. Jerry, you, you are you're trying to make it work with your wife, right? You guys are back together trying to make it work. I was trying. What do you mean you were? Said, when did you stop? I I, I can keep trying. I, I want to. I just Heidi. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like it's just not the same with us anymore. Well, are you trying? I feel like I've run out of trying, honestly. But you, you've not severed the ties with Michelle, clearly. So are you both mentally and physically still involved with Michelle or just mentally? I don't even know. Uh, honestly, she's just she's just this idea that I like because, I don't know, when I come home, it's it's just not the same anymore. It hasn't been the same for a long time, and that's because you've stopped trying. I've been trying. You're not trying. I have tried. Like, I have tried, and it's not like, it's not stopping, it didn't stop the fact that something's different between us, and you know it. And it you know? the fact that you're still in contact with that other woman. How are you saying that's trying if you're not even going to try and actually just be with me? You're still with her in your mind. <sighs> I mean, Heidi, do you think it can oh, work with us? No, no, do you, Jerry, do, do you, you want, want it to? Do you want, W-A-N-T, do you mm -hmm. want it to work? I don't know. I think something's just kind of died. Well, like, do both of you want it to? You both sound kind of like, eh, but, meh. But, and I don't know, is not good enough for a marriage. you got to want to make it work or it's never going to work, Jerry. If, I, if, anybody, if anybody in a marriage is saying, I don't know, I'm not sure, or hesitant, it's never going to work. There has to be mutual want. That's how marriages work. And mutual trying. It can't just be for the kids. It has to be for us, too. Like, you can't leave in the morning and not say I love you back to me. Like, how does that, how do you think it makes me feel when that Also, works? Jerry, you I can't mean, be seeing another girl yeah, when you're, you're trying to make it work, too. But, yeah, Heidi, I, I have to still raise concern that maybe... You rushed you guys getting back together for the wrong reasons, not necessarily because you wanted to make it work, but because you didn't want to see him with another woman. And that's different. That is a different scenario. I wanted us to work. I mean, I don't know what else I can do. I asked, we, had, we had a conversation about our marriage and if we still wanted to try, and we both 
agreed that we did want to try and that we do love each other and we love our kids and we love our life. And so we, he agreed to come back home. Well, I don't. I mean, we're gonna have to wrap this up. I, uh, I, I, I don't know that anyone's doing anything wrong, other than maybe not just being honest with the other person about their desire to keep it together or not. And yeah, I think or that's honest what you guys with yourselves. Do. That's what you guys need to talk about. Okay. I think it's over, and I think that maybe we should start getting the divorce papers. Well, why don't you? Order. I'm gonna put you guys on hold. You should have this conversation in person and not with us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good luck to you.